Welcome to Bali. <laughs> Please. Good evening, everyone. Uh, let me start with a few words about the recent elections held in the United States. What we saw was the strength and resilience of the American democracy, and we saw it in action. And the American people proved once again that democracy is who we are. And there was a strong rejection of election deniers at every level from those seeking to lead our states and those seeking to serve in Congress, and also those seeking to oversee the elections. And uh, there was a strong rejection of political violence and voter intimidation. And there was an emphatic statement that in America, the will of the people prevails. In this moment of great global challenges, from global inflation to the climate crisis to Russia's brutal war against Ukraine, we're bringing together the broadest possible coalition of partners to deliver results. At COP27 in Egypt, I made it clear that thanks to the bold agenda of our administration, we pursue from day one to tackle the climate crisis and advance energy and security at home and around the world, the United States will meet, the United States will meet our missions target under the, our targets under the Paris Agreement. And we're going to keep working with our partners to support the most vulnerable countries in building resilience to climate impacts and to uh, align global ambition with the 1.5 degrees Celsius goal while supercharging our clean energy transition. And let me meet, uh, I, I, I just met in person with Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China. We had, <coughs> excuse me, we had an open and candid conversation about our intentions and our priorities. It was clear, he was clear and I was clear, that we'll defend American interests and values, promote universal human rights, and stand up for the international order and work in lockstep with our allies and partners. We're going to compete vigorously, but I'm not looking for conflict. I'm looking to manage this competition responsibly. And I want to make sure, make sure that every country abides by the international rules of the road. And we discussed that. The One China policy, our One China policy has not changed, has not changed. We oppose unilateral change in the status quo by either side, and we're committed to maintaining the peace and stability in the Taiwan Straits. And I ask that Secretary Blinken travel to China to follow up on our discussions and continue keeping the lines of communication open between our two countries. And I do not think there's any imminent attempt on the part of China to invade Taiwan. And I made it clear that our policy on Taiwan has not changed at all. It's the same exact position we've had. I made it clear that we want to see cross-strait issues peacefully resolved. Do I think he's willing to compromise on various issues? Yes. I think he understands that, uh, look, I, I think, how can I say this tactfully? Um, I, think the, uh, I think the election held in the United States, which still leaves a little bit uncertain, uh, has sent a very strong message around the world that the United States is ready to play. Significant victory for Ukraine. Significant victory. And uh, I can do nothing but uh, applaud the courage, determination, and capacity of the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian military. I mean, they have really been amazing. And uh, I, uh, I think it's hard to tell at this point exactly what it means in terms of, uh, but I've been very clear that we're going to continue to provide the capability for the Ukrainian people to defend themselves, and we are not going to engage in any negotiation. There's no, nothing about Ukraine without Ukraine. And I'm confident that Russia will not occupy or defend uh, uh, Ukraine as they intended from the beginning. Uh, it's difficult to say that I am certain that that China can control North Korea, uh, number one. Number two, I made it clear to uh, President Xi Jinping that I thought they had an obligation to attempt to make it clear to North Korea that they should not engage in long-range nuclear tests. And I made it clear as well that if they did, they, meaning North Korea, that we would have to take certain actions that would be more defensive on, on our behalf. and. It would not be directed against North Korea. I mean, excuse me, it would not be directed against China, but it would be to send a clear message to North Korea. We are going to defend our allies as well as American soil. 
and American capacity. And so, uh, but uh, I do not think that uh, it's difficult to determine. I, I don't think there's enough votes to codify unless something happens unusual in the House. I think we're going to get very close in the House, but I don't, I think it's going to be very close, but I don't think we're going to make it. Thank All right, you. thank you, everybody. Thank you. That's the, that could,